When you think about drinks from Mexico, you likely think of tequila and mezcal. But there's another one from the very same plant that precedes them. As part of Hispanic Heritage Month, ABC 10 News reporter Adam Campos introduces us to pulque, a drink that dates back to pre-Hispanic times and was believed to be a gift from the gods. The story of pulque, much like the history of ancient Mexico, is rooted in legend. It was the cosmological center of different empires in Mesoamerica. The Mexica called it ocli, the Nahua word for wine. They believed pulque was a gift to humanity from the god of wind Quetzalcoatl, who sought help from Mayuel, a celestial being. Mayuel, much like many of the other figures that we see appearing in a lot of these pre-Spanish invasion texts, are very complex and they defy many Western descriptors. UC Merced professor Dr. Felicia Lopez says she can spend months trying to decipher glyphs from centuries ago. She created this comic with illustrator Jordan Culver depicting the story of Mayuel. This is based on part of the Historie du Mexique, a French manuscript written in the 16th century. And as the story goes, Mayuel's remains are buried. And from that, the first maguey sprouted. Uh, and from that, we, we have a number of different uh, wonderful products. Uh, the most widely known is, of course, tequila today. <laughs> Unlike tequila and mezcal, which are distilled from the cooked and fermented heart of the agave, pulque is only fermented. I would definitely consider myself a pulque enthusiast. Brian Torosco is a former bartender and writer based in L.A. He travels all over Mexico, studying the unique beverages the region has to offer. Research Orozco is using for a YouTube docuseries called Last Call Mexico. He explains the sap is called agua miel, honey water in English. The magic happens inside large wooden containers where the agua miel ferments by ambient wild yeast. Depending on what region it's from, your pulque can be a little kind of sticky, kind of viscous. Uh, it can be very almost kombucha champagne like. Could be sweet, could be a little funky. A study published in the National Library of Medicine says pulque was the drink of choice for rituals among priests and nobles in the Aztec Empire because of its perceived magical powers and health benefits. The ancestral elixir is packed with vitamin C and iron, as well as probiotics. According to El Archivo General de México, pulque lost its secret roots when Spanish colonizers made the drink a commercial industry. For Orozco, the best place to have pulque is with the small telachiqueros in Mexico, pulque producers that have preserved the traditions. Going to these different places down in Mexico where pulque is available is almost a pilgrimage in itself because you're kind of paying respect and tribute to this plant. Now, it's not easy to find because of its quick shelf life, but we did find it here at the Cabeza del Unico in Chula Vista. I put the Cabeza del Unico because I'm all unique and the state with that menu. A menu that includes pulque, both cured with flavors and in its natural form. This is a pineapple pulque, and I have a mango pulque right here. And this is the regular pulque, this is the main. Founded in 2019 by Jesus Gonzalez, it's one of the only Mexican restaurants in San Diego to sell the ancient drink. I feel happy when people come in, hey, you have pulque, oh my God, I'm excited. Even more thrilling for Gonzalez, as a native of Alcapulco, it's serving something authentic to Mexico. I'm really, really happy, exactly, more with food because I make my people happy, you know? They are doing a community of favor, especially migrant communities who have been here in the United States for years and decades. So now they go to this food ghetto because it is a part of their culture. It's also a part of that memory of where they came from as well, too. Adam Campbell, Salud, ABC and News.